Solving quadratics. We have used two methods for solving quadratic equations so far, graphing and factoring. Today, we will learn a new way, the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, the solution of a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, are given by the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus minus square root of or radical of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is your quadratic formula. Note, b squared minus 4ac is our discriminant. So if you look here, so this part of the quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac is called discriminant. Keep in mind the three possible answers. Two, two solutions, one solution, no solution. Let's try some examples. Example one, x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals zero. We're going to use this quadratic formula and we're gonna find solution. First, you have to identify A, B, and C. Here's how you identify A and C, A, B, C. A is one, B is this negative two, C is this constant negative 24. Once you have that, you're going to, you, once you identify A, B, and C, we're going to plug it into this quadratic formula and find X. So you're finding solution for X. So let's go ahead and plug it in. First, negative B. So B is negative 2. So you're going to put the negative sign and put parentheses around negative 2. So whenever we plug it in, we're going to put parentheses around them. Plus, minus, radical, B squared. So we're going to put parentheses around B again, negative 2, squared, minus 4 times A, which is 1, C, which is negative 24. So notice I put parentheses around them. Divided by 2a. a is 1. So everything we substituted, we put them around parentheses. And then we're going to solve. So you can use your calculator and solve this part inside the radical. So negative 2 squared is 4. And then this, if you do the math for this, it's going to be positive 96. We're going to square root that, and then we're going to write this part, negative, negative becomes positive 2, plus, minus, divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So basically, after I plugged it in, I solve each one using calculator. 4 plus 96 is 100. So what we're going to do is write 2 plus, minus, square root of 100 over 2. We're going to solve this now. So there are two ways to solve it. First way is 2 plus square root 100. What is square root 100? 10. So you're going to do 2 plus 10 divided by 2. 2 plus 10 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. That's your first solution. The second solution, you're going to do same thing, but instead of plus, we're going to do minus. So 2 minus 10 will be negative 8, divided by 2 will be negative 4. So now you have two solutions. So we're solving for x. So x is 6, x is negative 4. So you have two answers here. Let's try another example. 12x squared minus 7x equals 3. Convert to standard form first. You may leave your answer as a decimal round to two places. So here you want to write like this. Move that 3 to the other side and make it a minus 3 or negative 3 and make it equal 0. So you're going to convert into A, B, C. Standard form, AX plus B, uh, X equals C. Plus C. So what we're going to here and identify 
ABC. So in order to use quadratic formula, you got to identify ABC from the uh, polynomial, the, in this case, trinomial. So we're going to write 12 here, which is A. B is negative 7. C is negative 3. So identify ABC, and then we're going to use these and plug them in here and solve for X. So this is your quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and do that. Minus B, minus negative 7, plus minus square root of B squared, which is negative 7 squared, minus 4 A C. So 4 times A, which is 12, and then C, divided by 2 times 12, which is A. Once you substitute, we're going to solve. So here we're going to solve this part. So negative, negative becomes positive 7. And then plus, minus, square root of negative 7 squared is 49. And if you do this part on the calculator, you get positive 144 or plus 144, and then divided by 2 times 12 is 24. So let's do the first one. Let's do 49 plus 144, which is 193. So 7 plus square root of 193 divided by 24, and then we're going to do that on the calculator, and you're going to get um, 0.87. You get a decimal. It's okay to get a decimal. And then we're going to do 7 minus square root of 193 divided by 24 on the calculator. So you do 1 with the plus, one with the minus, okay? You need two uh, ways, and then you're going to get zero po negative 0 0.29. So you got two solutions here. X is 0 0.87, and X is negative 0 0.29. So those are your two solutions for X. So we're just using quadratic formula to find what x values are. Instead of factoring and graphing, we're using quadratic formula. Let's look at example 3. 2x squared plus x plus 3 equals 0. This is your quadratic formula. And we're going to identify a, b, and c. So a is 2. b is 1. C is 3. So we're going to plug it into this quadratic formula. So negative B, negative 1, plus minus square root or radical B square, uh, 1 square, B is 1, minus 4, A is 2, B is, uh, C is 3, 4, A, C. Put that on the parentheses, and then over 2 times A. And let's solve it out. Negative 1 plus minus 1 squared is 1. Do this on the calculator. It is minus 24. Over 2 times 2 is 4. So let's do 1 with the plus, 1 with the minus. Negative 1 plus 1 minus 24 is negative 23 divided by 4. And then we're going to do negative 1 minus negative 23, radical negative 23, over 4. So you have two set up. If you do this on the calculator, and this on the calculator, 
you're going to get an error because you have a square root of negative numbers here and that's no solution. So here, um, your answer is no solution. So what happens when you square root a negative, like these? Look at the graph, and are there any solution or x-intercept? There is none. So discriminant, last unit, we use the discriminant to find if it's factorable by hand. If it, is, if it was a positive, perfect square, it was factorable. b squared minus 4ac is discriminant. The discriminant also tells us how many other, uh, many other things. More facts on discriminant. Discriminant is positive. That means there are two real roots. Crosses x twice. If discriminant is 0, there is one real root. Vertex is on x. If discriminant is negative, there's no real roots. does not cross x-axis. We say real roots because in Algebra 2, there will be imaginary roots. So we're going to learn that later. So discriminant is an indicator of what kind of roots, answer, solution you have. For example, state the number of real roots for each equation. You do not need to use the whole equation, just the discriminant. So discriminant is that in the part inside the radical, which is b squared minus 4ac. So first you have to write a is 2, b is 10, C is 11. So what we're going to do is plug it in here. So B squared will be 10 squared minus 4 times A, which is 2, C, which is 11. So let's solve it out. So 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 2 times 11 is 88. And then when you subtract, you get 12. So if you get a positive number, it means you have two roots. So state the number of real roots. So it's going to be two roots. You're going to have two x values. State the number of real roots for each equation. So a is 4, b is negative 20, c is 25. We're going to use the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, we're going to plug it in, b is negative 20 squared minus 4 times a, which is 4, c is 25. So we're going to solve this. Negative 20 squared is 400 minus, you do this part, 4 times 4 times 25 is also 400. So you get a 0. When you get a 0, you have one real root. So the answer is one solution or one root. Okay. State the number of real roots for each equation. So this one, you need to move it to the other side. So you need to rewrite this. So instead of minus 2, it becomes plus 2. So you can do A, B, C. So A is 3, B is 4, C is 2. So the discriminant, we're going to use B squared minus 4AC. Plug it in. B is 4 squared minus 4 times A is 3. C is 2. And let's do the math. So 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 3 times 2 is 24. And 16 minus 24 is negative 8. So when you have a negative you're going to say no solution, no roots.